You're watching Fox News at 9 with Brian Wolf, Ashley Paredes, Chief Meteorologist Alex Garcia, and investigative reporting by Yami Virhen. Fox SA News at 9, Puro San Antonio. Now to the latest on the crisis at the border. There's been an increase in the number of human smuggling cases and chases in our viewing area. In tonight's Yami Virheen Investigates, we hear from a district attorney who says her district is not offering plea deals to alleged coyotes. The images of thousands of migrants crossing the U.S.-Mexico border have faded. The numbers dropping. Okay, not the so have the huge numbers of people and Mission Border Hope in Eagle Pass and the Migrant Resource Center in San Antonio. In its place, law enforcement tells us the number of those being smuggled in has gone up. In Savala County, the chase is on and the load size of migrants has also gone up. The patrol guys did have a, an increase in, in, in loads and they're ranging from eight to 10 individuals. All along the counties between the border and I-35 and those that are on both sides of I-35 like LaSalle and Frio are seeing the trend of smuggling go up. So far we have over 300 cases. And that is in the first three months of 2024, says Audrey Gossett Lewis, the district attorney for the 81st district. She's in charge of prosecution in five counties, but the majority of the smuggling cases are coming from Frio and La Salle, according to her. I'm part of the border prosecution unit um, and through Operation Lone Star funds, through the border prosecution unit, the governor's office um, permitted us to hire another and grant funded another prosecutor to handle those cases. If you, they hadn't done that, how would you get through the many cases? We'd be struggling. We'd be struggling. As it is, we're struggling because the number of cases, the volume is just so high. Between January of 2020 and January of 2021, the 81st District had just two smuggling cases. This was during the pandemic and also the presidential elections that November. The next year, that number went up to 246 cases of smuggling and 15 of evading. In 2022, that number almost quadrupled to 819 cases of smuggling and 56 of evading. We've had several tragic cases, um, and this year we've had two fatalities. And to me, that's the heartbreaking part when um, you have undocumented who are in a passenger in a vehicle and don't really have any control over the situation and they lose their life um, in the process of coming over here illegally. Um, it's tragic and it's not something that law enforcement or us, you know, it, it just breaks our heart because it's something that could totally be prevented. The drivers are usually from Houston. They're young, I would say 20s, um, either Houston or San Antonio, Austin area. But what is interesting, according to the district attorney, is that some are threatened by those who recruited them to finish their smuggling mission at any cost after being given pin drop locations to pick up their human load. They're told where to take them. In the process, if they're pulled over by law enforcement, that's where it becomes a problem. They are usually instructed that they should not stop and they're threatened with their lives and told you will not stop. And then we have these young, inexperienced drivers who are in these high-speed pursuits with law enforcement who are putting everyone's life at risk. And there's no plea deals in the 81st district for smugglers. So coyotes are looking at two to 10 years average. We have a policy in my office. We do not offer probation to any smuggler. So it doesn't matter if it's your first time, if you're 17 years old, we will not offer probation. They can go to the court and ask for probation from the court and the court has given it a handful of times. Jami Virgen, Fox SA.